The voice broadcast campaign will broadcast a recorded message to your list of numbers. This is the campaign details page. We'll give our campaign a name. We can specify the caller ID that we want to appear on the phones that we dial on the campaign. And we'll have the option to transfer calls during this campaign. That's a press one transfer campaign, where you'll send out a recorded message and give people the opportunity to press one to a representative waiting to accept transfers. If we want to use the transfer option, we'll need to click on the checkbox for yes next to transfer option. If we click on yes, we'll put in the number that we want to transfer calls to. By default, the number that someone receiving a call from you will press will be one, but you can adjust that number. By default, CallFire offers a do not call digit. If somebody receives a message on a campaign, they can press 8 to be placed on your internal do not call list. Nonprofits and some other groups are exempt from this requirement. If you are, you can click on the checkbox for exempt. There are three special scenarios that might be helpful in our campaign. We could disable answering machine detection. Answering machine detection will discriminate between a live answer and an answering machine. If you disable answering machine detection, your message will begin playing as soon as a call is connected. This will result in possibly an increase in the rate of transfers on your campaign, though it will result in a message being cut off for answering machines. You also have the opportunity to leave your messages for only answering machines or only live answers. As soon as we have our details entered, we click on the green button with the black arrow to move on to the next page. On this page, we'll choose the sound files for our campaign. We have four slots to choose if we choose the transfer option. We can choose sound files for a live answer and answering machine. Those sound files can be the same, but you can also choose different sound files. If you are a new account, we'll need to create sound files. We can do that by clicking on Pick Sound. On the pop-up box, we can choose from a list of sound files that we maintain on the website, or we can create one by clicking over to the Record slash Upload a Message tab. We have two options. We can reuse the voice recording utility to record a message over the phone and choose it immediately after we're done. Or we can upload a sound file. To upload a file, just click on Browse, search for the file on your computer, click on Go to upload, and it will be ready immediately. As soon as we have a sound file recorded or uploaded, we can choose it from the Choose Messages tab by clicking on the blue button that says Choose. We'll follow that process for each slot that we need to fill. For the answering machine slot, we can create a new message, a new sound file, by using the voice recording utility or uploading a new file, or we can choose the same file that we used for live answer. There's a slot for a do not call sound file. This sound file will be triggered if somebody presses 8 to be placed on your internal do not call list. We can create a new sound file or choose one that we maintain on the website. The transfer sound file will be triggered if somebody presses 1 to be transferred. It can say something like, thank you, you'll be transferred right away, please hold. Of course, we can create a new file or upload one, or choose one that we have saved on the website. As soon as we have each of these sound files chosen, we can move on to the next page. On this page, we can test our campaign by having a test call sent to our phone. We'll review the legal agreement, scroll down to the bottom of the page where we'll enter a SAN number if we are telemarketers. Nonprofit groups are exempt from this requirement and they can write exempt in this space. Type in your initials to indicate that you accept the legal agreement. Type I agree. Then when we click submit campaign, our campaign will be ready. Our next step is to add phone numbers to our campaign. We can do that by following the add phone numbers to this campaign link. On this page, we can either upload a phone book that we have saved on the website, or we can upload an Excel or CSV file. To do that, we click on the browse button to search for the file on our computer. After we have the file chosen, scroll down to the bottom of the page, type in your initials one more time, type I agree again, and then when you click on Submit, the numbers will be ready. After we've created our campaign, we can start it right away by clicking on this icon, or we can put a check in the checkbox to the left of the campaign name and choose Start Campaign from the Campaign Control drop-down menu, and then click Go. 
We can also schedule our campaign to start at a later time by clicking on this icon, applying a schedule to the campaign, and it will go out at the scheduled time.